This question, we've got a triangle and we're being asked some questions about it. So the first thing to do is just get a little sketch down of this triangle. A, B, C. Now we're told that AB is 3, BC is 4, and this angle ABC, that's the angle between the lines AB and BC, is 30 degrees. So first up is the area of the triangle. Now, for when you don't have the base and the height, the thing to go for is a half AB sine C. That's the formula to use. Basically, it's the two sides. I mean, I'm not even going to label them on this triangle. It's two sides and the angle in between. So it's a half times 3 times 4 times sine 30. Now, this can be done super quick because actually sine 30 is just a half. So it's going to be a half times a 4 and then half of that again. We're just going to get 3. That's the final answer. B, length AC here. Okay, for that we've got two sides and the angle in between. This is going to be the cosine rule. You know what, in this case I am going to label the triangle because I like to use this form of the cosine rule. C squared equals a squared plus b squared, because that is Pythagoras' theorem, and you minus 2ab cos capital C. That's an extension for a non-right angle triangle. So it doesn't matter how the triangle's labeled, I can relabel it, and I'm gonna actually call um, this side little c. So actually this angle is gonna be capital C. It's like I'm sort of crossing it out, you know, not, not bothered about this anymore. Um, and then that can be a, and that can be b. So c squared is going to be 3 squared plus 4 squared minus 2 times 3 times 4 cos 30. I'll work that out. Four point two one five. So C, which is equal to A capital C, is in the square root of that two point zero five three one. And I, I mean that's enough. It's not asked us to round it, but. Typically around to three significant figures, so 2.05. Last one we're asked for the angle ACB. ACB. So I'm back to actually this one here. Okay, well, now actually I might have to redraw this. It's got a little bit messy. So angle A, C, B, this one here. Okay. Um, well, the best thing to do here is like we've got an angle side pair going on. I mean, there's there's a few, there's so many ways you could do this question. You could use the cosine rule again. Um, you've got all the sides now, just not the missing side. But where possible, I'd always try and use the cosine, uh, the sine rule. It's a little bit easier to implement. So we can write down that sine of question mark divided by 3 is equal to sine 30 divided by this 2.0531. We're going to have to use that in there. So that's the sine rule. That's just like an implication of the sine rule. Sine of the angle divided by the opposite side equals sine of a different angle divided by the opposite side. So it makes sense to use um, this 30 and the side we just found because we know them. We want to find this one, so we use that one. So we don't use the 4 or this other angle that we don't know.
So sine question mark is going to be 3 sine 30 over 2.0531. Okay, and I've got that stored as the answer. So 0 0.7305. Therefore, angle ACB is going to equal inverse sine of this. We're working in degrees. We're in degrees here. So we get 46.935, which I'll round to 46.9 degrees. Okay, let me just go over uh, how we could use the cosine rule instead. So for that, we could... Um, Going to draw this triangle out again. I want to find this angle here. I've got three, four, and then a uh, 2.0531. And this this is just a sketch. It's, it's not accurate um, in terms of like what it looks like. So I'm going to now call this one C, this one A, and this one B. And I can write down C squared is equal to A squared. plus b squared minus 2 um, not 3 2 times a times b times cos question mark um, and I can minus this from everything and then I can divide through by that. 3 squared minus 4 squared minus 2.0531 squared. That's equal to, that would be equal to all of this. I'd have to divide through by that coefficient. So I can do that all in one go. And that is equal to cos question mark so I've got the exact answer now but I'm, I'm you know I've written it down to uh, five five digits so that'd be enough We get 0.6828. And then it would again be angle, I've already forgotten what the angle was, angle ACB. This time it's going to be inverse cos. Okay, and again we get 46.9. Brilliant. So I hope that makes sense. You know, that's de this for A, definitely the way to go. For B, definitely the way to go. Um, for C, there's a few different options, but yeah, I've done I've used the sine rule and the cosine rule to get the answers.